For more than 10 years, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman entertained audiences as hosts of the popular Discovery Channel show Mythbusters. But in-depth interviews have since uncovered the fact that the two men, as shocking as it may be, actually hated each other off camera. Join Facts First as we delve into the true story behind the acrimonious relationship between the Mythbusters. Differing Personalities and Work Ethic From the beginning of their partnership, it was clear that Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman approached their work in vastly different ways. Whereas Savage was a social creature who thrived off collaborative energy, Jamie wore his introversion proudly and preferred to walk alone. Their clash of temperaments was apparent from day one of filming. While Hahnemann came prepared with meticulous technical plans, Savage believed the true spirit of exploration came from learning through trial and error. His boundless curiosity and enthusiasm kept experiments progressing at a rapid pace, yet also led to slipshod approximations that graded on Heinemann's exacting standards. The latter saw planning as paramount to ensure safety and scientific validity, often slowing filming to a crawl as he recalculated factors. These stalls only amplified Savage's frustrations. Beyond work methods, their ideas of success fundamentally diverged. For Heinemann, achievement lay in empirical data and replicable results, but Savage took equal pride in inspiring viewers through vivid storytelling and pushing boundaries. Whenever Heinemann estimated a risk as too great and clamped down, Savage bristled at what he saw as a refusal to learn through risk-taking. These differing philosophies manifested in countless arguments that derailed shoots. As the years wore on, their inability to find compromise only worsened. Heinemann grew to see Savage as an impediment, resenting how his antics ballooned filming schedules and demanding a say in designs he deemed subpar. Meanwhile, Savage bristled under Heinemann's constant critiques and control, feeling restricted in his creativity. Any collaboration collapsed under mutual distrust and second-guessing. Away from set, their rivalry intensified as egos inflated in the limelight. Whenever one hogged attention via solo showcases, thinly veiled bitterness emerged. Minor slights festered into lasting grudges as each battle for acknowledgement and autonomy amidst tight production constraints. Despite a shared passion for scientific discovery, irreconcilable differences in personality and values doomed their working relationship. Lack of Trust and Respect From the earliest seasons of Mythbusters, it was apparent that Savage and Heinemann lacked a basic level of trust and respect in one another that's fundamental to any successful partnership. Behind their civil, on-camera personas lay a deeper well of competitive resentment and insecurity. While both boasted brilliant engineering minds, each felt constantly scrutinized by the other and struggled for acknowledgement of their unique strengths. Any compliment felt hollow when immediately undercut, as subtle put-downs were a common mode of interaction. As filming progressed, even white lies and half-truths were deployed to one-up the other during brainstorms. This adversarial stance bled into their work, where they began viewing collaboration as a hindrance rather than enrichment. Complex multi-stage experiments evolved into minefields with each waiting to pounce on the smallest deviation from procedure as quote-unquote proof of inferior methods. What were meant as thoughtful reviews deteriorated into vicious personal attacks. Morale steadily eroded as the build team was pulled into the feud, pressured to pledge allegiance to methods or ideas. Constructive feedback transformed into opportunity for retaliation, sabotaging the free exchange of skills and creativity the show had been built upon. By the final seasons, even production staff felt caught in the crossfire, tiptoeing around landmines as basic exchanges ignited screaming matches. The hostility became so toxic that informal problem-solving broke down. Having once brought out the best in one another through complementary talents, Heinemann and Savage had regressed to viewing any cooperation as a zero-sum game of winning and losing. Their egos and insecurity eclipsed the scientific ambitions that first drove Mythbusters, leaving only a dysfunctional power struggle. Different Life Pursuits and Values From early on in Mythbusters' run, it was evident 
Savage and Heinemann lived markedly different personal lives, pursuing passions that diverged more over time. While Heinemann found contentment disappearing for days into solitary engineering in his workshop, Savage craved constant social and intellectual stimulation through industry events and building collaborations. Where Heinemann valued applying science to practical problems, Savage saw it as a calling to inspire curiosity through whatever creative avenues arose. He gladly devoted off hours to conventions, speaking engagements, and new TV projects that fed his zeal for education and entertainment. But for the reclusive Heinemann, public mingling held little interest outside providing for his work. Their clashing worldviews became exacerbated as Mythbusters elevated their fame, creating ruptures in priorities. Endorsements and business opportunities flooded in, yet where Savage sought new platforms, Heinemann grew wary of commercialism's influence. He distrusted how sponsorship dollars could impact integrity or warp focus from the work itself. As disagreements festered, once shared visions fragmented into competing philosophies, with each circling different orbits. Heinemann remained fixated on solo pursuits from his private workshop, while Savage channeled energy into collaborative build teams, books, and convention circuits that relied on togetherness. Over a decade, their partnership transitioned from true blending of talents into an arrangement of necessity. Without the foundation of similar lifestyles or appreciation for each other's pursuits, cracks steadily deepened. By Mythbusters' conclusion, their connection was barely an afterthought severed utterly just as the show tide dissolved. Outsized egos and jockeying for credit. Beneath their professional veneer, it was clear from the earliest seasons that they both had big egos that inevitably bred an atmosphere of petty one-upmanship. Through Mythbusters' 14-year run, this simmering rivalry manifested in constant behind-the-scenes jockeying for greater credit and more camera time. Any complex build or daring experiment that gained acclaim or pushed scientific boundaries became another opportunity to outshine the other and boost notoriety. The partnership was devoid of any true collaboration. Instead, each test was a solo quest for individual glory achieved at the direct expense of diminishing their counterpart's reputation. The crew described cutthroat competition infecting even productive sessions, transforming useful feedback into passive-aggressive invalidation aimed at ensuring only one idea prevailed. Away from the cameras, their rivalry devolved further without professionalism to contain the underlying hostility. Former production staffers spoke of unchecked hell breaking loose during the smallest disagreement, triggering weeks-long cold wars and retaliatory power moves through producer allies to undermine the opponent. Now it's time to hear from you. What was the most surprising part of this story? Let us know in the comments section below.